Hi, we're live. Hi, Terry. <laughs> I see my husband's here. That's all I see. <laughs> I'll buy it. Hi, we're live. <laughs> yeah, turn your stuff down. I don't see anyone else just yet. <laughs> So I'm excited about your new show and tales. Oh, um, yeah. We gotta get you actually know somebody. We have to get you scheduled uh, to come on and do a show and tell with one of your collections. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'll have to carry you to those collections. <laughs> they're not little. <laughs> oh, they're not little. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Blue Flamingo, Lori. Hi, Kat. Joanne, hello. And AJ's Retro and Vintage. I don't, I don't think I've uh, seen them before. That's Julie. She lives in Canada. Oh, in Canada. My sister's in Canada. Oh, really? How yeah, she's kind of stuck over there. <laughs> Is Julie. Hi, Belinda. And the Southern Picker. Oh, D. Hi, D. Hello, D. Did you go to Round Top? Did you get out there? I want to go. That just seems so magical. Like you guys find some great things there. Oh, it's a lot of walking. Lots and lots of walking. It's fun. Hi, Lynn. Yes, we had a blast. I've already been... Um, is it just three times? I've been. We only we've been. You we, we went twice. Oh, twice, three. You've been three. I've been three times already. We were supposed to go tomorrow, but um, things have changed, so we won't go again until Sunday. So it's a week long. No. Okay. Round Top Antiques Week is a true one week from um, this weekend. Starting, what is that, to, um, 24, 25? The 25th to the 4th is the true Antiques Week. But Ra Warrington, which is right down the road from Round Top, is three weeks. Basically oh, three wow. weeks. That's amazing. Three, three weekends and two weeks. So they start like on a Thursday. and But they're there prior to that because the junkers are all um, right. buying from each other. So uh, I had a friend out there that was out there since. Now has been there two weeks, I think. Now, <laughs> so, how cool is that? Another week to go. So, uh, yeah, I won't be able to go the last week. I mean, the last weekend because that's when I'm going to my grandmother's in Baird, Texas, and I'm going to meet um, a Groovy Vintage Jenna. Oh, fun! So, I'm excited about that. How far are you away from um, a Round Top and all of that? It's less than two hours, just under two hours, about um, an hour, 50 minutes, something like that, an hour, 45. Not bad at all. No. And that we always make day trips back and forth. Fun. Did you see the sisters who had a TV show? Oh, um, the Junk Gypsies. I've been there, but I, I didn't go. I haven't, I haven't been there in a while, actually. But I, we have been there, and I got a shirt. But um, I don't go every time. I don't go there every time. I didn't know there was a TV show. I'm missing out. <laughs> the Young Gypsies. You never heard about them? No. They, 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 they're one of the first to start all the junkin' or um, repurposing yeah, the junkin'. Years. You know, they got it really known. I mean, junkin's been forever, but um, they repurpose a lot of their junk. They started oh, yeah. an old uh, vintage uh, RVs and and. Boho, it's like they do a lot of bo, um, what is it boho called? Chic. Boho chic, you know, with so. a Texas twist. With a Texas twist, yeah. <laughs> so, hi yeah. Nate Biscuit. <laughs> Hello Nate. Hi, blind, blind by beauty. Hi Be Brittany. <laughs> so, well, um, we got twenty people in here. I think. Um, Mimi's, is it Mimi's Treasures? She's going on still. Cindy still has her sale, yes. 
there's always a lot happening and you know as the calendar gets full it, you just it going to be back and on do top of that. That. yeah <laughs> so yeah um oh sandy sandy auto is here um trisha hi trisha hi trisha i caught the tail end of hers I did. I caught part of it and then I was having some major buffering issues. So I sort of had to drop off. <laughs> I felt bad for missing the rest of it. <laughs> so, okay, well, I guess we can get started. Um, uh, Y'all all know that uh, Katie's doing her show and tell tonight. Of course, y'all know. Um, with uh, Daniel, right after this, can't wait. Showing brooches, right? Yeah. What's your brooch now? What are you wearing now? So this brooch was a sweet gift from Sandra, the pink elephant parlor. And it is a wonderful little waist brooch. I just think it's lovely. And Tina, a vision and vintage co gifted me this little record. Oh, that's cute. I like that tie. Oh, that's really nice. I'm wearing one of my merch shirts. It says, uh, don't throw the, what does it say? Don't. Don't, don't throw out your junk. It's harmful to the hoarders. Don't throw out your junk. It's harmful to the hoarders. You see what that is? That's the uh, the vintage toy game. The shark. It's called the shark. What was that called? The shark game. Y'all y'all remember that? Y'all know that shark game? Uh, all the junk was in his mouth and you had to pull it out without his mouth shutting on you. It was similar to Operation, I think. Yeah, something like Operation, but it was a shark mouth. You had to dig out the toys. And there's a... What is the uh, old xylophone um, record in there? Oh, that's fun. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get some of your merch. I'm making my rounds with the merch. <laughs> oh, my God. There's so much out there now, isn't there? <laughs> okay. Well, y'all all know I don't see any uh, new people, so y'all all know how this works. And I think, uh, oh, Victoria H. She's new. Hello, Victoria. Hello. Hello. So if y'all haven't um, messaged me uh, your email, you know, if you purchase something, you send me your um, your PayPal information, address, your YouTube name and your real name and email it to my email scrolling on the screen, Texas Vintage Uprising, Texas TX at gmail.com. So that way I'm able to invoice you. Hello, Helen Booty. Hi, Helen. I just love saying her whole name, Helen Booty. <laughs> Lots of people have fun names. <laughs> and Leanne. Hello, Leanne. Chicago lady. Uh, Jean, is it Jean? Jeannie, yep. Trying to remember all these. <laughs> okay, the first item I'm going to have up, we're going to do this cute little spoon rest. It's a little teapot of the resident, resident with the... Um, berries and leaves in it it looks like a little tree with the the wood but it's a little spoon rest it's only um about three inches tall but just a little cute spoon rest and then the back is it has a little um, plastic backing cute little short sweet <laughs> it's going to be four dollars and it's number 11. Oh, I guess I should put you in the corner. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> sure, yeah, put me in the corner. I always forget about the baby in the corner. <laughs> there, <laughs> make my screen bigger. <laughs> but this will be $4 and it's number 11 for the little spoon rest. I love these resin type of uh, little kitchenware stuff. I, I think that would be great too to put your tea bag on if you Oh, have yeah, yeah. Heck, it might be for that. I was just guessing a spoon rest, but it might be for a tea bag. It has many uses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a gum saver, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Even though I collect fish for my bathroom, I, I like the chalkware. This is um, more of a ceramic piece, but um, I have so many of the chalkware now, so I'm kind of sticking with it. But he is still a cute little fella with his top hat and cane. But it's a little chalkware fish. You see his back. I guess they put their initials on it. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's ready to hang with the hoe. But he's a yellow, yellow fish with his uh, 
blue hat and cane and those big o eye, that big o eye. And he is going to be eight dollars for number thirteen for the fish wall hanging. If you're doing like me, putting fish in your bathroom, he'd be great. He's cute. He is adorable. I like the little whimsical fish. <laughs> and then I have um, these. Uh, everything's yellow. If y'all haven't seen the the advertising on Instagram, I just started picking up stuff and everything seemed to be yellow. And I was like, oh, let me see what else I have yellow. Let's see what else we can find yellow. So we're doing a sunny sale of yellow. <laughs> So therefore, I picked up these candy corns, um, not candy corns, they're just corn, corn on the cob. Um, here's the back of it. And they, they look like they started to be lit at one time, um, but not apparently not very long. But I just love the little, it looks like the little corn with the little dark pieces in there. But the, I guess these would be good for fall and Thanksgiving. So oh yes they're gonna and they have the little nubs they're gonna be twelve dollars for number 20 the corn candles oh i like those i think for a fall vignette or on your your table at thanksgiving that would oh. be great yeah like this and the turkey in the middle <laughs> be real cute so And I see Janice. Is it Janice Jan showed up? I see Janice Minart in the chat. Hello, Janice. How are you doing? Then we have this um, cute little, uh, uh, I don't know if it's a bud vase or it's just a whatnot, um, you know, decoration, but it's a, it says on here that it's 14 karat gold. So I have this upside down. It says, uh, and not 14, it says 22 karat gold. The, um, gold painted, I'm, I'm assuming. You know, you can't scrape this off and make any money off of it. There's no way it's, it's enough for that. But um, if you look close, there's a face on it. Oh, wow. On both sides. That's the Grecian style? Yes, this is a Grecian style. They say, you know, a little bud base or just a little whatnot ceramic type base. It's um, about five and a half inches tall to the handle here. So cute little bright yellow gold plated uh, little vase. And it's going to be $10.00. And it's number 39 for this cute little vase. That yellow is just so cheery. <laughs> yeah. And it's hard to see that face with this type of paint, but some of the other ones you can see it really well. So uh, let's see what else we have here. I have this cute little guy. He's a little um, peanut man um, keychain. And it says this. Oh, I love it. What does it say? Um, Mr. Peanut on his hat. He's wearing his little single eyeglass, little keychain. Very cute. And his little dancing shoes. I think he's very cute. He's uh, about three and a half inches tall, you know, from without the. the um, the he's little in his sassy stance. Very sassy. <laughs> and he's going to be $10. $10 for this little guy. Uh, number 51. I love Mr. Peanut so much. <laughs> he's super sweet. I I think I have one more. But um, I had like five at one time, but I already sold several. They're just so cute. I have my uh, great grandfather's uh, cousin's. Uh, Mr. Peanut jar from the 30s. And so that oh, has wow. my love for Mr. Peanut. <laughs> and I see Sue Spezio getting a little Mr. Peanut fella. Congratulations, Sue. Thank you, Sue. And then I have 
Now, I thought these were really neat. There's a pair, and it's a four in two. Now, I guess um, he has a little wear on his red, you know, the paint loss, a little bit of red paint loss on him. But they're a salt and pepper, sugar, and creamer. Here's a salt and pepper. And uh, he does right here have a little chip on him on the, I don't know which one's salt and pepper, but, and one of them is missing the little knob. I mean, um, uh, what do you call that? The cork. Popper, yeah, the cork. <laughs> and then here, the bottoms are their sugar and creamer. That's so handy. Everything all in one. Yeah, I thought that was really neat. Really cute. So you get four and one. And they sit like this. So if you do a rooster, a chicken rooster uh, theme, these would be really sweet. Or if you're just a salt and pepper collector. But they're going to be $16 for number 15 for the salt and pepper and creamer sugar set. <laughs> That is fun. And, you know, the stoppers are so easy to get off of Amazon, so it's not a big deal that it's missing one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard, I've always heard that um, you can get both sets on there. So let me get that out of the way. Hi, Carrie and Kim and Dee and everybody joining us. Welcome, welcome. Hello. My chat going up. Can, there it goes. Um, Let's see. Well, here's another little sugar creamer. Oh, I, I remember these when I was younger. The old Tupperware style um, sugar. What is that? It has a single spout here or the spoon one there. And it's yellow. Of course, everything's yellow today. And it's a Tupperware style. I remember my mom having this. And it might have been a more darker yellow. But this is going to be six dollars and it's number three for your tupperware sugar container the old timey um sugar container i thought these are i always thought these were neat i've always liked tupperware i can still hear my grandmother saying you know when she'd bake cookies and use her big round tupperware she'd say you gotta burp the tupperware and get it closed so that it feels and that's what they would tell people at all the tupperware parties burp the tupperware. <laughs> That is funny. <laughs> um, okay. Next I have um, this little Corel um, little girl. She is the Corel um, needle knit. Uh, I think it's Corel. Um, what are the other names? Embroidery or whatever. I know there's a different mm -hmm. term for each of them. But I, I don't know, know very it. well the differences. I need to learn. <laughs> I think this is Corel, though. Um, it's the, you know, the yarn. But I had one of these already once in, in a sale that sold. But um, this one's under glass. The other one wasn't. And her ponytail is actually free flowing. But you can't tell under the glass. But I love her skirt. It's got the nice knit, different, you know, prints on it. She's on a stool. She's churning butter. Very cute. It's like a five by seven size. It's in this frame. You could always take it out of the frame and get a use another frame, but you know, maybe even a cuter frame. I think the other one I had was a painted yellow frame, but um, again, no glass, but this one does. It has a glass in it. Um, this Corel little girl, she's going to be $14 and it's number 35. $14 number 35 for this five by seven little she's, she's really cute she's really sweet um okay then i have um this it's, it says italy it has original uh sticker on it too from wolf's nursery and it's and it says here from Italy across here, and it's just a single little mug with the fruit on it. I probably should have had this in my last sale because there's fruit on it and a leaf. It looks like a pear and a a little bit of an orange up here. 
but uh, just this mug, and it's going to be eight dollars for number twelve. It had yellow in it, so that's why I threw that one in. <laughs> I like the yellow. That's so fun. <laughs> and it's from Italy, so I thought that was different. Yeah, well made, too. <laughs> I bet you. So, uh, so I have this planner, and it's a really cool planner. Ooh, look at that. It's, it's carved in. This is, you know, engraved in. But I cannot figure out what this material is. Do you I think thought it was some, uh, like a gourd or something. That's but what I was going to say. See? Yeah. And it has a... David didn't think so, but I thought so. And it says uh, C-A-I number. Um, it has a number in there, 705. C-A-I or C-A-D? I'm not sure. Like it was signed. But it's a... And it says USA for some reason on it, but interesting in, in a marker like, but it's to me, it feels it's not paper mache. I don't feel like it's wood, but it has this nice design carved design. It's, it's engraved in here and painted. I love that bird, but it's a nice little planner. It's, um, it's about eight inches wide and mm, Four and a hit, four four and a half inches tall. So it's a really neat planner, I thought, and it's yellow. <laughs> so it fits our theme today, and it's going to be fourteen dollars, and it's number ten for this cool. I I kind of thought it might have been some. David thought maybe it was Tanala, <laughs> but I don't know about that. It's just um, interesting. I would vote that it's a hand carved gourd. Yeah. That's my best guess. I don't know, but I just think it's beautiful and it's so cheery, that yellow color. Well, he was wondering why we weren't keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, if you're lucky, we might. <laughs> or you can just buy it, David. <laughs> so it's um, $14 and it's number 10. Let's see. Here I have. So you're in honor of your brooches tonight. Oh, fun. I have a couple of brooches that I'll be showing. And this is a trio of butterflies. Oh, I want it focusing. Is it? It's getting there. Come on, camera. <laughs> Dang. It's not very good. But I can see it. They're still just gorgeous. Yeah, it has the blue. There it goes. There blue it is. The greens um, and the yellow. A pair of three butterflies. Is, I mean, yeah, three butterflies. Uh, it has a, a TC initials. You know, um, I don't know what that make is. Oh, my God. This camera. Why? Sometimes it just is that way with small marks. So it's it's very cheery little pin. It's um three inches long. But we're gonna do this a uh, little butterfly pin for eight dollars, and it's number twenty-seven. What a great deal! And boy, I just think that's gorgeous. I don't. Do you know what TC might stand for? No, I don't. And it's funny because I actually have a pen mark TC and I need to do a little bit more research myself on that. I think it's it's usually someone's name. Um, and I see Janice Meinhardt picking up number 27. Congratulations, Janice. Thank you, Janice. And I have another one somewhere. Uh, let's see. We'll do this first. Here's another spoon rest. It's a speckled orange yellow speckled chicken, lovebird chickens. And their feathers are what holds the spoons. They're little tails. So it's a double spoon rest at that to sit on your table at serving table for all your dishes or on your stove. It has the protective um, pad on it. 
And I thought those were really sweet. Little lovebirds. Some kind of pigeon. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's a long, long piece. This whole thing is about almost seven inches long. Six and a half probably more so. But they're going to be eight dollars for number six for the spoon wrists. So cute. Those little chickens are just having a fun time being your spoon rest. Oh, um, Nate telling us what the, what it stands for. Oh, thank you, Nate. Tanya Creations. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Okay. Thank that's you. Good. And I see Belinda Carroll for number six. Congratulations, Belinda. Thank you, Belinda. And then I have. Yes, Nate is very knowledgeable, as Janice is pointing out. <laughs> we need that help. Yes, especially those brooch marks. <laughs> this is a teriyaki piece that's labeled. It's a lusterware plate. I love the, the handles on it, and I love those flowers. But it's it's a yellowish orange color. It's yellow sometimes and it's orange, but um, pretty flowers on it. It's a wide plate. Let's see. I guess your normal size. It's about nine and a half inches, you know, around. And it says the label says Nortaki. Um, I think it says hand painted. I did it say hand painted. Now I can't read it. Now I can't remember. But um, it's that luster wear, if you can tell. But these handles are very pretty. I love that. So, a decorative plate. I wouldn't assume you really eat on these. I don't know. No, but you could put down a little bit of wax paper and put, you know, your cookies on it. It would just be so oh, pretty. Yeah. Make it dressy for a tea party. Yeah. Yes. Oh, tea. That would be good. <laughs> And it's going to be $8 for the plate, and it's number 16. $8, number 16 for the lusterware plate. I think that's a gorgeous. Now, let's see if I can hold all these up. I'm going to show you one first. I got these bright, sunny, cheery mugs with this beautiful flower design on it. It looks like a like a transfer, feels like a transfer. Very pretty. And I have a set of four of them. And are there any labels? They're from 1976. There is a little um, can I read that? David, can you read this on the bottom of that? On one of those mugs? So we have four. I set it for and I he's trying to read it for me. It's so dark in here. I need to get better light in here. Dobbing. Dobbin. D O B I N G Dobbing 1978. Six. Seventy-six. I can see that part. So Dobbing mugs, <laughs> the brand. So they're going to be 16 for a set of four of these sunny, sunny little mugs. And they're number seven. Number seven. And there are four. Let me show you. <laughs> Those are fun. Those are just great. I would love to have coffee. And I see Chicago Lady picking up number 16. So congratulations, Jeannie. And somebody else was asking about a price. So, Yvonne, let me see what you... Uh, Joanne wanted the yellow bowl. Okay, Joanne. Oh, the yellow can, bowl? The, the uh, planner bowl? Yes, we can certainly write you down for that, Joanne. This one? It was number 10. Number 10, Joanne. Yeah, number 10 was $14. Let's see. Now we, we have a Shawnee planner. Planner base 
I don't know. Is it a planter or a vase? Probably a vase. If it holds flowers, it's a vase. And if it holds plants, it's a planter. <laughs> it's 14 inches tall. And it's nice yellow. Pale, kind of a pale yellow. And it has flowers on the outside. And has this little scoop. Really sweet. It says USA. But when in my research, it says it's a Shawnee. A really cute planner. The I love the the lines of it going up like that. It kind of has like an iris look to me. Those flowers, but oh, I'm yes. not an expert at all. But that's just so pretty. Has these little uh, the little frog lily pad uh, leaves on it. It's going to be $15 and it's number 32 for the planner. Very cute, very sweet planner. I love the co that color yellow. And um, do we have anybody in here that likes, uh, let me see if I can say this name right. Um, in, in from the Say the paper stuff for me. Uh, Ephemera. 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 I can never say that word. <laughs> and I have Becky as vintage for number 32. So congratulations, Becky. I have you down. Thank you, Becky. We're going to do a lot of this in uh, Ephemera. You see, I have a Winnie the Pooh book in here. And I have it with this because it is, you know, kind of damaged. The uh, the first page is a little messed up. You see it's kind of ripped in there. Um, but, it, and like the cover at the inside, they have this tape to it. So I thought it'd be good for junk journaling. It still has, I think it's all the pages I was going, I was trying to count it, but there's no, um, no page numbers in this book. So, and you see there, they have it taped together. So I thought I'd put this with the junk journaling. There's over um, 20 to 25 pieces in here. We have, let me try to run through this real quick, an oil checklist or whatever, you know, that you would get. There's, you know, several pieces of those. Um, some kind of, I'm just going to run this through because this will take too long for me to, a picture of an old car. Oh, look, look, uh, Katie. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And they, like the old boxes or something, and it, they're flattened out. But I thought those were really cool. I have um, two hard book uh, covers. To um, great for you know for your junk journaling. Yeah, this this one has a title on it but a white one and a pink and blue one, but these are good for your, I'm blurry, hard covers. Um, then we have some ribbon, so some postcards. This is one of those floating ones, Hobby, Hobby Lobby kind of postcard. Um, the Saturday, Saturday evening post postcard. Oh, how great is that? Um, and there's some envelopes with some of these postcards, um, a birthday postcard. <laughs> this is, I think, more of a, I don't know if it's a, I don't think it's a postcard. It's more of a picture kind of thing. Like a print, maybe. Yeah. A bookmarker, another card, some um, paper from books, um, another postcard. Here's a cool postcard. Another postcard, some um, little duck birthday cards, vintage. These are vintage cards. Um, they are, these two are marked in. This one's really cool. The little duck and it opens oh, up. He's darling. Really darling. Um, some, uh, what do you call it? A personal paper. It has the name on it, but I still like the color. Letterhead. Huh? Letterhead. Letterhead. And um, a flower on the end of that. We have some newspaper article there's 
two full open sheets in here. Well, look at that airplane. Wow. That's cool. And it has the, yeah, the newspaper clipping, Pan Am. This is from 1960, May of 1960. That's and they two, two of these, and it opens up. So very old, nice yellowed. And then we have the uh, gift wrapping paper, vintage gift wrapping paper sheets. And one more book of, um, let's see the front cover, that's messed up, of um, music sheets. Now, some of this was colored in, I think, by a child and kind of the front cover is kind of mutilated. Oh, those darn kids. <laughs> but this would be great for junk journaling. Absolutely. So, and it has a hip hop. It has cool little graphics in there, black and white graphics. So, all that. Try to do that quick. <laughs> all this ephemera. Yeah. For fifteen dollars for number fifty, this whole stack. So anybody into junk journaling? Here you go. That is a great lot, Tammy. Oh wow, that Pan Am ad is to die for. Yeah, I love the paper, the newspaper, and I'm putting several of those lots together, and I still have some more of those newspapers. And I see Belinda Carroll picking up that lot. Congratulations, Belinda. That is a really fabulous pickup. Great, Belinda. If you do junk journaling, I want to see some of your books when you're done. I oh, want to see yeah. some of these. I can't wait to see, you know, people's doing them and collecting them. And can't wait to see those. Um, that newspaper I got when I picked up some vintage baby book, um, baby beds. They were all undone. There was like three of them and they were separated by those newspapers from an estate sale. And I was able to get the whole entire box and, and I was unfolding it and looking at the newspaper. I was like, hmm, I'm going to flatten these out and keep these. That was pretty neat. So here I have some uh, brass ba um, the bases, brass bases. And um, they they call them they like to call these Hollywood Regency, but these are you know I found identical ones and they're calling them Hollywood Regency, but I guess that's just the style. But they are marked on here, India. So it would be so great on a buffet or an entry table. They are etched on there, India. There's the etching. Wow. Of the flowers. I just love those. I didn't try to clean them up or anything. So I just left them as is and let somebody that knows what they're doing do it. Yes. If you want to, you can get some brasso, but I, I like the patina on those. They're not really so much patina, I don't think, as like they just need to be. I probably should have just wiped them down more. I don't really see anything green. But, uh, yeah, there's, they're um, seven and a half inches tall. And you'll get both of them. And they're identical. They look, yeah, they look identical. Um, well, the same design on it. I don't know how identical they are, but they got the same design. And they're going to be $15, number 21 for these brass. And they do say India etched on the bottom of them. Yeah, there's... There's a name right there. That. So, um, Janice is saying they're kind of boho. I think they yes, are kind of boho space. Definitely well. boho, yeah. And I see Becky is vintage picking those up. So, congratulations, Becky. Thank you, Becky. And then uh, here I have a. Now, I looked this up, and this is a creamer. They're saying this is antique. I could not find a year, exact year on it, but, you know, so I can't hold it to it that it's an antique, that it's 100 years old. But um, some um, one listing said it was porcelain. I don't know, because there's no markings, and I'm not that familiar with my glass and the style of it, but it's very pretty. I love the handle on it and the the flowers on it and see there's and you don't see it as well here but there's a little slight indention but you see it better on the back it's like that on the front you know that handle is very deco looking 
Yeah, it is, ain't it? Yeah. So I thought that was really nice. It's, just, it's a creamer. Anybody out there collecting creamers? And it's going to be $12 and it's number 40. $12 number 40 for the yellow flowery creamer. I love this long arch of it. Me too. And I think flowers out of that. Oh, I yeah. Even the succulent or flowers being just put in here to use. That would be nice. So much with creamers now. <laughs> and I see our resident strawberry gal, Laura Melinda, is popping in. So hello, Laura. Hello, and, Laura. And Janice Minard, congratulations. You are picking up that fabulous creamer. Thank you, Janice. Now, isn't he just a cutie? I love this thing. Take off my inventory sticker here. He is, I thought he was adorable. Now he had, he was full of pennies and I had to get a knife and shuck them out like that because, you know, oh, he's like, playing. like, I don't know if it's been broken into before and they restuffed it or that's just the way it was made originally, but I wouldn't want to break it. <laughs> So I just, I took all the pennies out or the change that was in there and it was pretty full and he's bright yellow outfit. So cute. Look at that face. You know, I always feel sorry for the smashers. I'm like, Oh no, yeah. their money out, but I'm glad you spent the time to. to yeah. Sit. That's what a butter knife is for. <laughs> <laughs> he is, um, let's see, he's five inches tall five inches and he is twelve dollars and he's going to be number 30. twelve dollars oh. number 30 for this cutesy little piggy he's darling he's adorable yeah i love piggy things that are actually pigs <laughs> <laughs> um then i have this yellow and orange mid-century uh apparently a cigarette holder but um, there's so other things you can do with these things. Uh, change holder, put it on your nightstand and dump all your change out. Is there any markings? There is a marking, but I can't read it with all these specs on here. Um, it looks really good. I love these colors, really love these colors. There is a, a line through it. It's not cracked, but you can see. Can you see it? You can't really see it. It looks like a line right through here, but it's not cracked. But it's, I love the colors and it'd be great for change or, you know, dumping your pockets or just, it's fun. I just think it's fun. Mid-century. I think this is very mid-century. Oh, I think so too. So mid-century. But I'm going to do this for $5 and it's number eight. And someone said it would be great if you were a painter because of the divots you could put. Oh, the whole, yeah. That's the very good. That is very good. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Sue Spezio says, or all those pennies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Some people are very witty, aren't they? Very quick. <laughs> very clever. I'm not that fast of a typer. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here I have a, can you see my face? Can you see me through it? It's a, a trivet hot plate. It has a little footies. I'm looking over here at myself in the camera, making sure I have it in the camera. <laughs> but that is um, a resin, resin, where they put the flowers in there, the butterfly and the leaves. And I think this would have been cool to make. But um, would be. this is, how, how wide is this? It's eight inches wide, cute little hot plate or put your, whatever it is for. It's a hot plate, right? I don't guess uh, if you took your pot off the stove and set it on here, it would melt it. I mean, that's what it is. No, I don't think so. I think resin's very strong. But I love these little things. I have a couple of more of these, but these are, I think these are really cool. Nice and dressy, very for your vintage kitchen. I'm sure you can do other things with it. You know, put your uh, potted plant on here, you know. Or in a little coffee vignette, you know, as right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
that would be really cute. So $12 for this and it's number five. I love it. Those are pressed flowers. Those are real flowers in there. So I guess that means that's a real butterfly too. I've seen people do that kind of work and they have to take tweezers and, and get it just so in the resin before it dries. Yeah. That, that looks like tedious work. I mean, those little leaves each. Yeah. That would be a lot of, work. yep. See, there's one that's bent. They, they uh, didn't do that one very well. <laughs> it bent down, but yeah, that's, that's work. This is work. I wouldn't want to do that kind of work. <laughs> yeah, Vaughn's always our great cheerleader. And she says, there's 57 people watching. So please thumbs up. So yes, guys, thumbs up the video. <laughs> Thank you, Yvonne. David's always telling me that you're in there cheering us on and, and trying to get people to do the thumbs up. I appreciate you. You're so great. This is a nice, bright yellow and orange tin. You see what it is? There's a little boy handing another little boy an apple from the apple tree or a lemon, maybe. A lemon. It's got to be a lemon. It's yellow. It has to be a lemon, I think. That would make more sense. It's yellow lemon. But a nice tin. See? If you store your stuff in here, it won't be hoarding. That's right. Put it in a tin or a box. Yeah, you put it in a pretty box or a tin, and it's not hoarding. Very interesting. What is this? Um, it's eight inches round. Cute little tin. I love that that design, and it's in great condition. Very good. I'm turning it back up right. Little apple tree from the tin, and so it's going to be eight dollars. Number seventeen. And Daniel's saying he's loving that smiley face clock behind you, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> it's smiling at you, Daniel. It's very happy. Mm -hmm. I work perfect with my yellow happy cell. And I see Stephanie at Thrifting Adventures picking that up. Congratulations, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. And if you guys buy anything tonight, again, please make sure you email Tammy at the email scrolling across the bottom of the screen. We do need your PayPal email, your name, your address, your YouTube name, and you can send that on over and then you'll be ready to go. Okay. Next, I have this pretty little address book. It's um, 11 inches tall and three and a half wide. Really cute. I love this design on here. It's brand new. It says it's from Japan. It has Japan down here and never used address book with the little tabs on the side like that and it has the clear the clear um coat thing on it you see oh that's nice the cover protecting it and i just love the little blue birds i mean what more can i say about this it's a telephone address book never used i I uh, picked up an address book. I totally forgot I had this one, and I went and picked one up at Goodwill and used that to put my uh, all of my YouTube friends in there. <laughs> so to keep great. track of. <laughs> great for that. So I, I totally forgot I had this one until I started looking for yellow stuff, <laughs> or I probably would have used it. But this is going to be eight dollars, and it's number twenty-two. And I guess you could tear it up for junk journaling if you wanted to. <laughs> but it's in perfect condition. But that might kill me a little bit inside. Yeah. <laughs> it's great, already protected with its plastic. It's great. So, yeah, I would hate that. But don't tell me about it if you do. Yeah, don't show yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm a bit of a vintage purist when it comes to things like that. Yeah. <laughs> So, Stephanie, I don't know if we have your information or not. So just go ahead and send it again to be extra sure. Yeah, Steph, I don't think I, I've ever gotten anything. I mean, you've ever gotten anything from me that I know of. Um, not that you're hard to find, huh? <laughs> um, what did we say this was? What did it read? Uh, Keller? Kellen? 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 Kellum. This is a Kellum Pasadena, it says on here. Kellum Pasadena. Um California, USA pottery. It's a just a little 
little planner. Ready for your bonsai project. Yeah, great for bonsai. That would be great for that. Or succulents. Um, it's a seven and a half by five inches and probably like a one inch, a little over one inch, just under uh, an inch and a half wide. But it's yellow. It's yellow. That's why it's in here. It's yellow. <laughs> Look real cute with your little <laughs> nothing to stick it to, but or, or even in the assemblage that they're doing yeah. now that could be good or for that garden. You can have your little rake nearby, oh, yeah. <laughs> your ther therapeutic uh, own whatever they're called, zen, garden. zen yeah, <laughs> little zen garden. So, this is going to be $14. And it's number 19. Or the little yellow, fun, happy planner. That is just so happy. Um, Polly's Projects wants you to hold the address book up closer to the cover. Polly wanted to see this. The little birds. Look at them. That is so sweet. And so oh, you. Huh? Yeah, very. Oh, and the butterflies. I didn't even realize that. Uh, I didn't, it's red. I don't know why I didn't see that butterfly down there. My uh, little ring light gives it a bad glare. <laughs> but let me open it up completely like this. And she'd like to see the writing closer on the front cover. Oh, there it goes. The writing. What writing? On top of the gold writing. I, I did. I just showed that. Okay. Yeah. The writing there. And I'll show you the inside. Oh. It's $8, number 22, if you'd like that, Polly. And the little tabs. Very cute. Yeah. There you go. And I see Polly's project for that. So congratulations, Polly. You got that fabulous address book. Thank you, Polly. Okay. We have... Get my handle to go straight. Here we have a box purse with mushrooms and a little worm. Oh, the mushrooms are fun. What is that? I thought that was a scrape, but that's part of the the picture, the a sticker. Like I don't know what it was supposed to be, unless it's missing something else. Oh, it's raining. He's under the the um, mushroom because it's starting to rain. He got his hand <laughs> out like this in the rain. That's what it is. <laughs> Very cute little. And this is about mm, a little. Uh, just under seven inches, seven, I mean, seven and a half inches to four and a half inches box. It's old. You can see the, the handles are a little bit rusty there. I think when I found this, she had um, uh, recipes in it because it's perfect, almost a perfect size for a recipe box. So it has a yellow felt um liner. liner in it with the mirror and the little latch and then the latches in the back not latch but the little um brackets and little feeties and the yellow handle let me close that back up and nothing on the no design on the top a little brown box it's it's super cute still really cute I just love the mushrooms and the little worm. So, and this will be $25 and it's number 38. That is just so unique. And everyone loves mushrooms these days. Uh -huh. Who doesn't love a worm though? <laughs> yeah, the little worm's cute. <laughs> we love the worm. So, $25, number 38. And I see Joanne. Precious Lavender Buttons picking that up. Congratulations, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. 
And here we have one of those amber pitchers. It's a um, Ital it's a buff, I mean, um, bamboo style uh, print. And Italian. Ital they say it's Italian. That, that's one of in my, I mean, my um, research. They were saying something about it maybe being Italian. I don't know. Imp Impoli brutalist style? And then I don't know what that means. It, okay. might, be, it might be in poly glass, which was made in Italy. And it has a little little bit of a, a dention right here. Like you can grip it, you know. But uh, it goes in just a little bit right there on both sides. And it looks like bamboo. And I like how the handle is not attached. It's dressy, real dressy handle. Little juice jar, water jar, whatever. Um, Pitcher. Really cute. It's um, uh, nine inches tall. Kind of a amber like yellow, orange color, brownish. I don't know. I don't know what color that is. <laughs> but it, it, it blended in with the theme. <laughs> It's going to be $15 and it's number two. And I think it looks very impoli, like Polly's projects is saying. Impoli? Impoli, yes. I'm not 100% sure, but it does look like that. I love that handle, though. Really cute. Yeah, so nice. Now, who didn't watch Sesame Street when they were a kid? I think I probably everybody did. <laughs> of all ages. Um, I thought this was really cute. Nice little picture. So it's... I, I don't know because I never took it apart. I can't take it apart. But I think this is painted on the glass. So it's kind of 3D. The yellow's back behind it. Can you tell a little bit that way? It looks 3D-ish. It is 3D. It's like painted on the glass. And then there's a fabric, you know, the background of Sesame Street and Bert and Ernie. I just love it. It's a, it's a pretty thick frame. And, of course, I wasn't going to open it to see because it's, you know, it's nicely put in there. But very pretty. Very so, cool. Can you tell that way uh, that it looks 3D? It's yeah. just not on the. Yeah, it kind yeah. of has a shadow shadow box effect to it. Yes. So it's and like painted on the glass and the fabric's in the back. But it's really cool. Oh, yes. Daniel's saying reverse painting. Yes, I think that's right, Daniel. I've heard of that. Didn't even think of it, though, but I've heard of that before. But it's a. It, let's see. This is a. Um, 11 and a half inches long and about nine inches tall. So 11 by nine. Well, it's going to be $18 and it's number 34. That's just great for a kid's room or your grandkid's room. It's just so cute. It'd be hanging in my toy room if I had room. <laughs> Oh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Yes. I have no room in my toy room. I'll, I'm going to do y'all a little tour one day, someday, when, somehow. <laughs> yes, I would love to see your toy room. <laughs> and then, now this, I just love this thing. This is my favorite cooking tool that I use. It's from the 70s. I use this all the time. Why aren't I keeping it? Because I already have like four of them. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I use them. Uh, it's Tupperware. It's three pieces and it has a colander in it. It is great for steaming anything. We use fresh vegetables all the time and this does great. You put your water in the bottom, put your veggies in the top and pop it in the microwave for however many minutes you like it crispy or soggy you know depending it's a it's the tupperware microwave steamer but it's from the 70s it's that you know the ugly 70s yellow color that i just love <laughs> so 
I'm sure y'all heard of these and seen these. I even have some square ones that are deeper and square. And it even works for after you fry something, putting it in here to keep oh, it hot. Man. And if it's greasy, it dumps the, you know, the grease starts dripping down. So these are wonderful. I use them. I use them all the time. And Belinda says you can put hot rolls in it on the table, which is also an awesome use too. Yes. He keeps asking me, why do you keep getting those? You already have so many. It's like, well, my daughter-in-law might want one one day when she figures out how awesome they are. So, <laughs> but I have several, so I'm going to pass this one along if anyone's interested. It's $20 and it's number four for the Tupperware microwavable steam holder. Yes, a tried and true, true piece, like vintage Viking treasures. <laughs> <laughs> and I see Polly's project picking that up. Congratulations, Polly. That will be such a Thank great you, to your kitchen. Here is a. Here's a. I guess it's from the 70s. Um, I couldn't quite find a, a a year on this, but it's a cookbook for bread. And I mean, look at that thermos on there. I love the graphics on here. I want to make a piece of bread like that. That's, right. I've never made bread before. And see that kitchen back there? Mm. So that made me think as uh, early 70s, maybe late 60s, early 70s. That looks like I think. It's, it's a sunset book, but there's even a couple of um, newspaper clippings in here as well. So I left them in there on bread, I assume. So there's some hidden, handwritten recipes in here along with uh, the other recipes. Pretzels. I think that's pretzels. It's part of bread. But oh, I love a salted pretzel. <laughs> I think there's another one in here of a a recipe, loose recipe. Yeah, yeah. Here's one, another loose recipe. So you don't only get the book; you're going to get some handwritten recipes that whoever had this Italian bread. Mm. Whoever gets this can make some bread and send it back to me. <laughs> that, uh, uh, I love more bread. recipe paper in here, but you can use those for junk journaling then. But coffee cake bread, cool, cool bread. There's um, 90 something pages in here, 96 pages. So nice, nice thing of all bread. I really like this book. I would never make the time to bake though. <laughs> <laughs> it is eight dollars and it's number twenty-three. Well, it's great, especially right now because everyone's, you know, in quarantine still sort of and they're all baking. So I think it's just really Yeah. Fun. That would be I don't how do you make the bread that tall? I mean, what kind of pan are they using? I Ooh. love this uh the thermos and coffee mug yeah, in there. The thermos is great. I love I that thermos. You would need like a very large Dutch oven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So. And I see Becky is me picking up number 23. Congratulations, Becky. Thank you, Becky. Let me see what I have. What do I, got? I have here. Could be an Easter um, decoration, but she's like made of um, clay or uh, what do you call this? Um, kind of uh, like disc. Terracotta, ter like maybe a terracotta pottery or something. Her face is like abyss and her feet and the underneath part of her dress is like abyss. But, you know, this and her um, actual dress is all painted. Her bonnet is uh, painted. It's glazed. And she's holding these two little bunnies. Really sweet bunnies. Look at her face. She's so sweet. Hi, Barb. With her little bunnies. She is... um. Oh, I didn't write it down. How tall are you? She's a tall figurine. She's a levity. She's a levity. <laughs> She's almost eight and a half inches tall. She's a tall figurine. Face measure. Face measure, yes. <laughs> yes. 
So I thought she was really sweet. And I love that she's holding the bunny. So she'd be great for an Easter decoration as well. She's going to be $8 and number 41. She's so sweet with her little bunnies in the basket. I think she's singing. Oh, yeah, she probably is. She's probably <laughs> singing, you know, the hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. Yeah, she has a felt bottom, too. They kind of poke through a hoe there, but she's protected on your for your table. She's really good. Sue Spezio picking her up. Congratulations, Sue. Thank you, Sue. Hi, Thomas. I didn't see you pop in. So, well, let me get this uh, another little Sesame Street item here. This is a, he is one of the vintage dolls. He's 14 inches tall. He's got the plastic beak and the fuzzy little hair. His neck, his, he needs to be stuffed back down into his neck so his neck will stand up because he don't hold that up very well. And he's cloth everywhere else. Little felt hands and little fuzzy tail, yarn tail and yarn on his hair. Um, it looks like they did a repair on his foot there. Now, do you think that he's homemade or do you know who makes him? I don't know who makes him. I don't, his tag's not there. He's not homemade. I've seen these on, um, online, but his tag is missing. Yeah. He would have had a tag right here. I see the paper residue there. Yes. Okay. So he's not homemade. That'd be kind of neat. I wonder if I can make something like that. His head's hard. So his head stays, you know, stuff. I can't, where are you going to find that plastic beak and plastic eyes though? Yeah. <laughs> I love his little striped feet. Kind of like he's yeah. wearing. <laughs> he's really sweet. He's cute. He's going to be $12 and he's number 33. Big Bird. Who doesn't love Big Bird? This is, this is how I got started trying to find childhood uh, toys. And that's how my toy room began. Is finding my old uh, childhood toys. <laughs> I think everybody's buying back the things from their childhood. Uh -huh. And I see Laura Melendez picking that up. Congratulations, Laura. Thank you, Laura. And does this look familiar? Have you seen one of these? I have for pasta, right? I, I think it's a towel rack. Pasta? Oh, maybe it is. I don't know about pasta. It's a brass. These are brass. And um, like you put it in your bathroom to hang your hand towels on, or maybe at your kitchen sink to hang hand towels. Um, Cause it's only, um, let's see, it's about 10 inches tall. This is brass and it's got a, it's got a little design to it. I can hold this. It's kind of etched, got an etch design on it of the brass itself. This is that pebble resden um base you know and then the top the finial on top and these have a you know the design like texture on the brass but it holds your uh hand towels what my research was is and when i found it well, i seen it for 50 dollars and 119 dollars the, the only ones that i could find those, those are nice. I mean, for hand towels, absolutely. I've seen people use those, but there's probably a more professional kitchen one for drawing pasta when they oh, make okay. pasta. But someone else in the chat was saying you could put necklaces or ties on it. So, I mean, it could be anything you want. To <laughs> yeah, whatever you need to hang. Hey, that'd be a good tool for um, like scissors or in your sewing room, hanging lace. I don't know. You can do a lot of things with this. But it's interesting, and it goes the these go all the way around. You know, you can split them up, have one on all four sides. Oh, that's it's, clever. It's pretty cool. I love this. Kind of neat. It is, it's going to be thirty dollars, and it's number thirty-seven. And it's kind of mid-century, I thought. I, I don't know the store, but. The the shape of the knob at the top to me is very mid-century. Yeah. Number 37 for $30. Okay. Here we have another little creamer. 
This is from, um, it's a Italian. It says on the bottom. Lots of Italian tonight. I know. <laughs> uh, Italians like making things in yellow, I guess. <laughs> Has this pretty little flower on there. And just a little hoe. I mean, it'd be great for a little uh, succulent too as well, I guess. But nothing on the back side. That's my sticker. So, and it's a uh, three and a half inches tall. Very cute, very sweet. Almost jug looking like, you know, it has a little spout, you know, triangle there. But a um, little creamer, little, I don't know if it's, you know, completely clay because part of this clay, I thought it was clay at first, but this part is coming off and it looks like it's just a glass ceramic type. I don't know. It's yeah. very cheery. <laughs> very cheery. So it's going to be $12. And it's number 25. Helen Booty got 37. Yes, I see Helen Booty for 37. Thank you, Helen. And thank you, everyone that I see in the chat saying sent, they sent their information. I appreciate that. That is thank awesome. You. I love it because I will do these invoices either tonight or in the morning. Well, most likely invoice tomorrow. And I pack everything tonight and first thing in the morning. And Helen said she's going to hang her necklaces on that at the booth. So yay! There you go. See, she didn't tell us what that what she was going to do with it until she got it, so nobody else would take it away. <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> and that's funny because my daughter was just looking for something to hang necklaces on. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have nothing like that. I don't know. Didn't think about a towel rack. <laughs> okay, who likes circus? Who likes the circus? Oh, look this it. is a. Uh, 1982 version book of the Barlums and Bailey Circus. I mean, these always have cool graphics in there. Of course, I would pick the first picture to be a clown. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, I know uh, more people like clowns, so I'm, I'm the minority there. <laughs> This is, I mean, great. It's in very great, great condition. Very nice. Of course, it's the greatest show on earth. We don't have the greatest show on earth anymore, do we? This don't happen no more, does it? No, I think they shut down. Yeah, I'm thinking because they do something else now, but it's, I guess he was the highlight during the 80, 82. Laura said she'll be right back. Don't sell anything. <laughs> So this is a nice, nice book, nice uh, clown book with all the graphics from 1982. And oh, look at the, look at the tigers, the kissing tigers. I wonder if that's one of the tigers that mauled their owner. Oh, I wonder. There's been quite a bit of interesting stuff going on at the circus over the years. Yeah. <laughs> um, this book is going to be ten dollars, and it's number twenty-four. It is a paperback book, if I didn't say that. It's not a hard cover. But great graphics, very bright. And who didn't love the circus? I loved going as a kid. I always thought it was so magical. Yeah. Very much so. Okay. And I see Linda Punky picking up the circus book. Congratulations, Linda. Thank you, Linda. Now, okay, these aren't very old. I didn't know that at the time when I picked them up because I, you know, I didn't read anything, but they're mid-century style. And I just love the mid-century um, look and all. And they're yellow. There's four of them. Little, um, I don't know, cookie tray for your coffee or whatever. They're the little trays. They're um, about six and a half inches from here to here. So. Love that. They're boring shape. Yeah, the mid-century, right? That's yeah, very mid-century with that boomerang. So it's a, but when I got them back, I mean, when I really started looking at them after I already got them, it said, I think that says Rachel Ray. So I guess she had a line of mid-century style come out, and you know, of course, malware, the plastic, you know, you get it too close to the fire, it gets burned. So there is a little burn mark right there on there. And um, 
It's great for kids, you know, or a party where you don't want yeah. to your real dishes. I mean, they're just so perfect for that. And for the little ones, you give them, you know, a little cake or candy, um, cookies or something, put on their own. They get their own little tiny tray. Uh, this one right here has a little neck. So that's the only thing wrong with them, other than they're also probably Rachel Ray. <laughs> oh, so. I think you're doing great. <laughs> Thank you, Polly. <laughs> but so there's four of them. They're yellow and they're boomerang shape, which I just love. But we're going to do these for $5 for number one. If anybody's interested in these. Those are just great. Just fun, fun, fun colors, fun shape, mid-century style. Mid-century is so. just happy. <laughs> yes. It's great to pass out almonds with. Great to pass out almonds with. <laughs> or nachos. Our nachos. That's not big enough for my Kim nachos. nachos. <laughs> or or <laughs> cash nachos. Or uh, what? Cashews. Oh, we can just I slice. I love cashews. Oh. Tammy hates cashews. I don't like cashews. We could just slice up our Jello mos and spread them oh, put them on know. hair and share it around. <laughs> yeah, so Cream of mushroom Jello Jello mos. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> No, that don't sound good at all. So here I have, um, now this is before my time. So I know it's before your time, Katie, because I'm only one day older than you. <laughs> years. Um, Tommy Tippy, um, little mug. So if y'all don't know, I mean, it's hard to tip over. It, it's a rounded base and it keeps coming back. So because it's um, weighted. So, um, and it has the lid on it. When I see these are hard, a lot of times I don't have the lid. They have a little sippy, you know, for the juice to come out. But this one will probably more be more for just a um, look-see, you know, for decorations or something. Because this one does have a crack right here. Can you see that? Let's see. You can see it? Is it clear? So, there is a crack in it right there. And of course, I just thought it was cute and didn't realize it had a crack. And I just grabbed it because I was like, oh, that's that's I just love that because I love baby items, love baby items. And um, and then it looks like it got too close to something hot because it put hot line. I mean, uh, melted it right there like it hit the stove or something. Tammy Renee says that was her baby. Oh, oh, Tammy. I wouldn't know if I had something like that. My mom didn't keep anything like this. So, and I love the colors, the yellow and the teal, teal green, bluish, whatever color it is. So this is going to be $5 and it's number 36. So that is probably, horrible. It's just probably for looks and um, play toy or something like that because of the, you know, I, I assume juice will probably leak out of here. Oh, it would be great as a little play toy in a, a child picture. Yes. That's, I almost forgot all this stuff sitting over here. Here we have a, this is a, my, my, um, I always want to say microwave. Um, macrame. 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 Um, the towel holder. The little loop to hold your towel. And maybe this is supposed to hold their wash rag because it's a okay. little pocket there and it has the little yellow butterfly the ceramic butterfly here Ooh, get close to the butterfly. and uh okay. the little speckled butterfly definitely vintage I, I love that i love the colors of this and then the little beads on the end now the only thing wrong with this apparently it's missing one bead <laughs> So, but that's easy to replace. Yeah, that would be very easy. And like this would probably be harder to find, something like that. But, uh, no, no, this would be harder to find. Oh, yeah. The wood beads would be easy to find. Um, I don't know if this is wood or some kind of plastic. It feels kind of, I've seen them with, uh, have them with plastic, but this kind of feels like wood. But I don't know. I don't think that's wood. It's probably some kind of plastic. Very well really fun. Boho? 
Boho. No, you said? Yeah, I think it's very boho. This is about 24, 25 inches long. My ruler only goes to 24, I guess. So it's a uh, 25 or 26 inches tall from B to rim. Anyhow, so I don't know what these are for. To add more towels in here, maybe? I don't know. I was wondering if you'd roll up towels or something and stick them. And be able to stick in there. So this will be where to go. This is going to be $20 and it's number 47. Very cute for your, I guess, I mean, I assume these were mostly for bathrooms. I would assume that too. That would yeah. make the most sense, I think. Very cute though. Just cheery all around. Yes. <laughs> And then here we have another, let's see, another headscarf. Now, who didn't wear these in the early 70s, late 70s? Little headscarf. How when cute. House cleaning, doing the um, yard work. My mama wore, wore these. She used to wear these all the time. And Out, period. It was. Just like our headbands today, this is what she would wear. And it keeps your hair out of your face, which I really love. Definitely, like. yeah. That's the best thing about it. But it has the yellow, the real pretty stripes, bright colors. I got several of these for any color of your outfits you need. And so this headscarf is going to be $4 for number 45. And it, Renee wants the number for the Tommy Tippy. She's going to get it. The oh. number is... 36. 36. And I'll write you down for that. Okay. Thank you. And this one was 45 for um for four dollars. Let's see. All right, and I got Tammy. Huh? I got Tammy for the pop. Okay. What do I have this? This this is a baby blanket. Of course, it's yellow. <laughs> now, let me see if I can get this close enough. It has turtles, rabbits. Um, I think just turtles and rabbits. Yeah. What more do you need than turtles and rabbits? <laughs> yeah, turtles and rabbits, different color. It's a tortoise and the okay. hare. The tur tortoise and the hare. A cute little, little baby blanket with the, the ruffles on the end. And this is the back side of it, solid yellow. It's a uh, machine quilted. Um, it's probably store bought back in the day. Um, it is 35 by 46 baby blanket. Really sweet blanket. I love the little turtle. I just think turtles are my favorite. Look at that orange and green. I love that orange and green turtle. Look at him. <laughs> and the, they're all smelling flowers. Oh, there's a bird on there. Look, there's a bird on it. The bunny and the bird. So this is very sweet blanket. So it's going to be $12. And it's number 43. How sweet is that? I have lots of baby stuff. I have a ton of baby vintage baby clothes. I um, paint. I love I can't those them. little baby shoes. I just think oh, they're yes. Darling. yes, baby shoes. <laughs> oh, speaking of turtles, this is a sweet turtle. I just love this thing. It's hand painted by Bailey. It's signed by Bailey. So cute. So sweet. It's a wood frame. Um, wood, wood backing. It already has the wire on it. Did I write down the, nope, I didn't say how big it was. Write it down. So it's a five by five size. Five by five. A little he hand painted turtle. Like the tortoise. from tortoise in the hair. Oh, yeah. I love the flower coming out of his hat. I love the colors. I love the painting. I just love the turtle. So sweet. And then, like I said, it has a wire already to hang. Sweet, cute. 
and it's pretty thick. It's a one and a half inches thick, all wood and hand painted. He is $14 for number nine. So cute. He's just a little happy really fella. <laughs> I love the colors on him. I love green, yellow, and orange together. Yes, they're just such a great spring. Let's see. And oh, I have this sweet little girl. Hello, oh. Vinny and Jamie and everyone else coming in. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Vinny came in. Peter, uh, hi, Benny. Peterson. Peterson is, um, what's Peterson's name? I know her name. She's also what's Michelle. That? Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. She's also Michelle. Okay. This I have is, a. Uh, now, how do you say this, David? Um, I, I never know how to say this name. Your, your, your co- what number? It's a it's a little trinket dish and it has real lace on her on her dress. Ukako. 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 Yukago. I think it's Yukago. I could be wrong, but I think it's Yukago. Yukago. It's a weird name, but yeah, it's from Japan. The tag is Yukago. Yeah, right. And it has the lace all the way around the dress. Really sweet. I couldn't find one like her, you know, for comparison. But, and she's wearing that debutante bon, uh, ball dress. Very sweet. Very cute. She's very cute. She is going to be $15 and she is number 14. I like how her lace is. Um, you know, 3D-ish. Me too. She's all ready for the ball. <laughs> yes. Little trinket jewelry, jewelry box, whatever. The vintage Viking treasures. Congratulations. You're getting number 14. Thank you. Put her down. Here I have um, some more little girls in a ball dress. Um, not really a ball dress, but um, this reminds me of like Gone with the Wind kind of thing. The umbrella, their top hat, and their big flowy dress, and the trim on the bottom. These standard size pillowcases. There's two. And the yellow and what is it? It's, the pattern is yellow and blue, red stars, white stars. And can you see the, it, it's a hat umbrella, right? That's a, that's the hat and, and then the dress, right? That's what I, I think call that's it. the hat and the dress. Yes. Yeah. And then she's got like a little parasol maybe. Yeah. I mean, I was like, is that supposed to be her head or just the hat? I would just, <laughs> not sure. And a, the little lacy trim, but very cute. I thought these were very cute. Very cute for your little one's uh, bed. And these pillowcases, a set of two, is $14, and it's number 46. Those are cute. I like the little stars. Yeah. Nice little stars. Mostly all yellow. It's, um, this is hand done. It's, well, no, it's, it's applique, I'm sorry, but it's, um, I'm sure it's machine um, sewn on here, but it's, it's an applique. They were made, hand, this whole thing was made, but not, Probably not hand stitched. So, if you can see that very well. But they're $14, number 46. I'm sorry, Louie is having a fit. <laughs> <laughs> what does he see? What does he hear? Uh, there's people walking down the rap music next door. <laughs> he hears the rap music next door? <laughs> yeah, maybe. There, there is a, a guy next to me that blares rap music. <laughs> Um, okay. All right, here's, here I have this little piece of linen. It's, um, 12 by 36. 
it's a butterfly on it. I've had a lot of butterflies tonight too. Butterfly embroidered needle point. I don't know whatever the term is called for this. Very pretty. Now in the lace, the yellow um, and white trimmed lace. And it has it at the other end. Let me hold this. Now and it does have a couple of spots on it. I haven't tried to laundry this, so I don't know how well it's going to do. But if it don't do well for your table, because this won't come out, it can always be used as a project, I'm sure. Yes, and um, you can keep your dressers warm, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> keep your dresser warm and... Um, Hopefully, you know, most of that will come out. You see the little spots there. Or it would with a little biz or fowls and Africa. Yes. Uh, but I love the, the design. It's really sweet, really pretty. But since I'm unsure of the spots, you know, I uh, put this up for $5. It's number 44. So the butterfly stitch in its um 36 it's a yard long yeah perfect for a dresser someone said janice minor said oxyclean may work oxyclean i've heard that's very good too we have another little piggy piggy <laughs> see he looks really cute with his uh carrying around his little succulent plant he um i don't know now nah, he just has crazy i was gonna say i don't know if he's made to look that way but i'm sure it's he's just old and has really crazy cool. i love crazy yeah because the bottom tells you how old he is that's just my inventory number i have it on all my stuff usually but uh i always forget to remove it but but no markings, but he's super sweet, super cute. He is um, about five inches long and four inches tall from here, four inches here to here, and five from here to here. So he's super cute, super. And he is, where is he? He is going to be $13 for number 31. Very cute, cute little painter. Very cute. Love his little face. <laughs> He's cheery. He's so cheery. He is. And I he see Maria him. taking him home. Yay, Maria, we've got you empty nesting. Thank you, Maria. Um, okay. Now these these were pretty unique and I kind of paid up for these and I don't know if that was a good thing or not. So they're chalkware, chalkware bookends. I have never seen they're really sweet. One looks nicer than the other. You know, she looks kind of mean looking. <laughs> and then are they just twins? One's wearing a um, complete yellow dress, or maybe she has a little tint of blue on her, light tint of blue, and she has a darker pink. They're holding flowers, the detail on their dresses, their flower on their hair. You, you see, is it this one? Yeah. This one has a little chip on her fl um, flower right there because they're chalkware. They have a protective bottom. Okay, that face. And she has some little white showing on her, yeah, on her flower there. Little ruffles and stuff. Am I back, Tammy? Yeah, did you leave? I didn't no, see you. There was an unstable connection and the whole screen went black. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> All right, good, I'm glad to be back. <laughs> yeah, glad to have you back. Um, so these are bookends, chalkware bookends. They they do have a little weight to them. They're really nice. Um, there's a little bit of wear on them because I do believe they're old. Look at her hand, <laughs> her little fingers. But um, 
like I said, the I'm probably asking up a little bit more for these because I paid a little bit more, but they're going to be 36 and in our number 29. They're chalkware bookends. I think those are so worth it. You just don't see those every day. And that's the only reason why I ended up, he taught me into getting them. <laughs> I've never seen anything close to them. Nothing, and I couldn't find nothing like them. Pretty for a little girl's room for some small books. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, I see Christy, Tippy Wings Vintage. Congratulations, Christy. We got you. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. We have that. Um, okay. One more thing here, I think. Oh, well, no, I got this too. Now, isn't he cute? Who is that? He's little Humpty Dumpty, isn't he? He's big Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> He's got a big head. So this is that latch latch um, hook rug. It's in great condition. Very good condition. It's, um, oh, I thought I measured it. Um, 25, 25 or 26 inches long. And about 20 inches wide in this way it's about 25 or 26 but um nice bright colors he's in great condition look at his back he's he's got the lining on his this lining that helped keep it all tucked in together that's the back side but it's a rug or you can hang it on the wall i've seen them where they put these on the wall as well but oh, that would be cute above a kid's bed. Very cute. So adorable. I love this thing. I even have a Snoopy one. That'll come later. I but love Snoopy. <laughs> this is a, where's my thing? He is going to be $30 and he's number 42 for the latch rug. Super sweet. Big head. Sweet. Look at that head comparison. <laughs> He's super sweet. And I see Joanne at Precious Lavender Buttons. Congratulations, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. Do you have a grandchild's room you're decorating? Okay. Oh, and this one thing before I get to my other offer up spec there is a Winnie the Pooh piggy bank with hugging. Um, Piglet. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty heavy, too. Just look at his face. He's super sweet. So, piggy bank. Um, it has the label. And it has its cork. I don't know what this is, what this material is, what it's made out of. But he's super sweet, super cute, great for the kids' room. He is going to be $22, and he is number 28. I love how he's hugging Piglet. That is just so sweet. So sweet. Super sweet. No, I love children's things, too. And my office is children's clowns and computer-themed, LOL. So it's Joanne. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were saying that about you, Joanne. Okay. And I see D for uh, number 28, the thrill of the thrift. So congratulations, D. Thank you, D. Okay. So these items I'm going to do uh, a Texas throwdown for. Ooh. This is a smiley clock. These. Um, I forgot the year these are, but this works and I, I kind of find them hard to find, but um, we're going to start this out at uh, $25. I'll uh, start in the chat. He does work. I plugged him in. He's working. He's great. He's happy. Can't get happier than this. Yellow with a smile. He is um, six and a half inches round. All right, we're ready to start them off. And I see Belinda Carroll at 25. It says, have a happy day and has a plastic top. It is a plug. You see the vintage plug. 
Here's the back. And there's a hole to hold it in. But he is super sweet, super cute. I love the smiley face things, as I know many of us do in the community. And Belinda yeah. is at $25. Belinda is the, the person to beat in the chat at $25. Go, Belinda. She's going to throw it down all by herself. That's, I did, he's just super sweet. That was really cute. Very like cute. Said, he works. He works good. His little hands look like a mustache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put it in the mustache. Uh. <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy. Yes, Joanne. <laughs> <laughs> so if Joanne's the only one interested. So I see Belinda at 25. I don't see anybody else. So should we start calling it? Yeah, we can start calling it. Okay, She's going on. once for Belinda at 25. Going twice to Belinda and sold to Belinda at $25. Congratulations. Congratulations, Belinda. And then we have this deer planter. Um, it's a Shawnee yellow. It's going to start at um, 35. Okay, let me type that in the chat. One moment, folks. Starting at $35, and the race is on for the Texas Throwdown for this adorable deer fella. <laughs> There's two deer there. You see a mama and a baby in the leaf. It's a, um, I don't know, a thin opening. I don't know what you call this little terrain that's open. I mean, the area for you to put your succulents and your plants or whatever your greenery in. More greenery would look good behind this yellow deer. It yeah. says, turn it around here, Shawnee USA on the back of it. And I see Belinda Carroll at 35. Belinda's in at 35. It is um, from here to here, it's six, uh, six and a half inches long. And the deer stands to be mm, right at six inches tall. I just love those little deer. How sweet are their faces? Super sweet. Okay, Belinda is the person to beat in the chat. The number to beat is 35 if you would like the deer planter. He's Shawnee, guys. Super, super cute. Just darling. All right. I know, are these type of plants right here sticking out of it behind? Well, I can't find it where it's at. Looking in the camera, having more plants like that really make this deer pop with more greenery behind it. And Belinda is at 35. All right. I think we should start calling it. What do you think, Tammy? Yes, you can. Okay. Going once to Belinda. Going twice to Belinda and sold to Belinda for $35. Congratulations, Belinda Carroll. Thank you, Belinda. And unfortunately, folks, this is where I have to leave you tonight. I do have a live coming up next, and I have my guest in the green room, so I have to escape. But I know the rest of the throwdowns are going to be fun, so stick around with Tammy. And uh, I love this little kangaroo guy coming up next. So have some fun, guys, and I'll see you later. Thanks, Tammy. Thank you. We'll see you in a minute. Bye, guys. She's going to go get uh, Daniel ready for their show and tell, and then we're all going to go head over there. Um, we got the kangaroo here, and he's going to be starting at uh, $35 for our Texas Throwdown for the kangaroo. If you don't know, if you haven't heard, these were uh, featured in, um, do you want me to type it in? Sure. Uh, Pulp Fiction. He was, uh, uh, what's his name? Bruce Willis's little caddy that held his watch in his wallet. Um, he had his wallet here. Your wallet would go here. Your keys or your watch would go here. 
your change or rings or something will go here. I don't know if anything sits here, if that does anything. Maybe your rings could sit up here. But um, he was um, in Pulp Fiction. Yeah, if y'all haven't seen that, go look him up when Bruce Willis is in his apartment getting ready. And you'll see him taking everything off and putting it on. Really cool. So we're going to start him at, he's at 35. We have Sally at, is it Sally the first one at 35? Yes. Okay. Tosca is at 35. Okay. He's the brownish, brownish, yellowish, orangish. I don't know what color. Uh, probably more brown. But he's super fun. Look at his face. Um, he has a marking of USA right here on the back of his tail. And we have Sally at 35, if anybody else is interested. There we go. We have Princess Diane at 38. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. There we go. So, um, have any of y'all seen Pulp Fiction and spotted this, especially since they came out with these? The... I don't personally like it. My husband and my son just love that show, but I've seen it and that was enough for me. Selling Too much cussing. Too much cussing in that show for me. <laughs> but he's super fun, super cute. He's and it's usually a man's caddy, but you know, we can use it too. But he, I don't, let's see how tall he is, if anybody's interested in that. He is uh, about eight inches tall. I don't know if anybody else found anything different to use with these guys. But they're super fun. They're super cute. So we have uh, Sally at 39. Now we have uh, Miss Diane at 42. Princess Diane. Princess Diane. My son loves that movie. <laughs> my my oldest son loves that movie. Sally Costco is out. Sally Costco is out. Princess Diane at 42. Want me to count it down? So if anybody else is wanting to bid against her, the 42 is the number to beat. And if not, then we'll start counting it down. Me too. Going once, going twice, and we have Princess Diana at 42. All right, Miss Princess Diane, you won your kangaroo. He's going home with you. Super sweet. I love those things. My husband's trying to keep one. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm going to run through the stuff that didn't sell and, and see if anybody that came in late is interested in any of the items. So I'm going to show those real quick. I'm going to show you the price and I mean, the number and the price. So I'm going to zoom through this real quick. We have our four, um, four in one set here the salt and pepper shaker, sugar and creamer. Remember, oh, they come, one's missing the stopper, and one has a slight little chip on him somewhere right there, just a little bit. So he is $16, and he's number 15. Then we have the other little piggy, super cute piggy, bank, piggy bank, and he is $12, number 30. We have the, uh, um, and I see um, Thomas Lynch picking up number 15. Then we have the little wood, um, uh, uh, wood frame turtle, paint, painted turtle. He is $14, number nine. I love this thing. He is super cute. 
And I see a uh, vintage and Viking picking up the little piggy bank number 30. Thank you. Then we have these little mid century, um, uh, what are they called? Um, what's that? Boomerang. Boomerang plates. But they're the new version. So I thought they were older when I got them. But they're number one. And they're five dollars for the set of four. And let's see. I hate to go too fast, and I won't see something. Then we have. What is that? Oh, that goes to that. Then we have the uh, Shawnee. Oh no, this isn't Shawnee. This was um, Pasadena, California um, pottery planner, and he was. Fourteen dollars for number nineteen. Cute for your assemblage or your um, succulents or Vintage your. Viking treasures wanted number one. The small plates. Okay. Thank you, Vintage Viking. And then we have the uh, resin hot plate with flowers. See my face? You can see through it. <laughs> it was uh, twelve dollars for number five. And check number 30. Let me see. Number 30. Oh, no. Um, thank you. Uh, Thrifting Adventures got number 30. Thank you. Sorry about that. He's falling behind on his job. He is no Katie, y'all. No Katie. <laughs> I had her down. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. Then I called it. I called a. Uh, Vintage Viking for number 30 because I didn't see it. No, Vintage Viking had number one, the small plates. Okay. And thrill of the th Okay. So, and then we have this, the hot plate. Let me scroll back down, back to where we were. <laughs> and and then the, the mid-century um, paintbrush dish, coin dish, cigarette, uh, uh, ashtray. Lots of possibilities. Eight dollars for number five. And then Christy, I received my horse planner. Oh great, great. I did love that thing. It was so adorable. And I always worry about stuff getting through the mail that's breakable. And here I am clinging these coffee mugs. There's a set of four of these, these bright cherry yellow um coffee mugs. Um for the four is um, number seven for $16. There's four. I'm just holding two. And then we have our, um, I forgot what it was called again, Italian um, Amber Pitcher. It was uh, number two for $15. The Empoli. Empoli, yeah. Um, then we had our little girl, uh, Corel behind glass. It's a five by seven size. It's a uh, $15 for number 35. And pulley. Yeah. Yes. Vintage Vinny. It is. And then we had our corn on the cob or corn in its stock um yeah. candles it was number 20 for 12 dollars then we had our cute little fishy wall hanging 13 and uh, number 13 for eight dollars Then we had our single Italian mug. It says, I mean, um, Italy. It says Italy on the bottom of it. You see it right there. And little uh, fruits painted on there. It is number 12 for $8. Polly's Projects wants the bathroom fish. The bathroom fish. Thank you, Paula. And then we had the 
vintage sugar Tupperware yellow container container. It was number three for six dollars. And then we have Bobby for 13. What was 13? No. Holly's got 13. Bobby's late on that one. Oh, okay. That's what I was looking. What is 13? Okay. All right, Thomas is taking number three. Polly's Projects has 13 first. Okay. Polly's Sorry, Projects. Bobby. She beat you on that one. You see that? I'm looking for it now. Okay, and uh, Thomas got this one. He's the first one on my end, I see. The sugar? Paula wants the bathroom fish. What was number 13? The bathroom fish. Oh, the bathroom fish is number 13. Yes. Okay. You got it, Polly. He took it from me, so I didn't have it here in front of me. Oh, I'm sorry. I did forget one, y'all. I forgot this. I didn't show this today. It's an enamel um, peacock fan. Uh, and Katie didn't get to see it. And they're doing brooches tonight. I forgot about this. Let me do this real quick. It's um, three and a half inches tall. If anybody's interested in this, it is number 26 for $12. See, I'm so good at this. Yeah, I can't even keep my own stuff straight. <laughs> I forgot about this. So anybody interested in this pen is number 26 for $12 for the Peacock brooch enamel pen with the stones and the yellow and blue and green colors in it okay can you confirm that Polly wants this one? yes she said number just confirm and here number six goes to Jan uh, Janice got you Janice for that 26 20, number 26 to Janice for the pen okay let me verify this back up what number was this David 13 what, what 13. Was number? 13 and Paula you had this right you wanted this right this is what you were saying it was number 13 I'm looking for her number yes scroll up Janice Minard Ethelson yes do y'all see this in the chat right um Paula this it was Paula right you said Mm -hmm. Polly's projects. She told me yes. Number three is what I remember seeing. I'm not number three. She said they give it to Bobby. Because I'm not reading the chats. I'm leaving it up to him. Give it to Bobby. I want the chalkware one in in your haul video. <laughs> you know, only one of those I'm giving up, right? <laughs> The single fish, the three piece fish I'm keeping. So Bobby. Bobby's is, giving this up to. Barbie Marco, Marco Antonio. Okay, Terry's saying, please look above. Bobby. Bobby Mark, Mark Antonio gets it. Okay, Bobby, you good with this then? What am I missing in the chats, uh, Terry? This is when I need somebody talking back to me. Bobby does. And okay. Okay. Bobby has it. Okay. <laughs> we got you, Bobby. How tall is the Italian pitcher? It is. Nine inches tall. Nine inches and the bottom of him. It is uh, four and a half. The base is four and a half. Okay, it's all good now. Okay, good. 
Um, I mean, Terry. I am not good at reading the chat and doing this. I have to have two people. All right. I don't know if I showed this. I don't think this is so yet. It was four dollars. Number eleven. It's a. It's probably. It's, I thought it was a spoon rest, but it might be a tea bag holder or a gum saver or I don't know or incense holder or. <laughs> anyways, it's that. Then we have this little. Um, grecian like base 14 karat gold i mean 22 karat gold painted or whatever it's a um, ten dollars number 39 and thrifting adventures gets 11. thank you thrifting adventures we have you for number 11. and then we have the baby quilt the baby blanket which was number 34 for $12, the yellow baby blanket. And then the microwave, <laughs> my, ugh. I can't talk. The mic, my, my, say it, David, my, uh, Macromade. Macromade. Macromade is 47 for $20. Which one are you looking for? 34. Oh. Someone said they wanted 34. Somebody wanted th precious lavender buttons. You wanted this? The Sesame Street? Got you down for that. Joanne, we got you for 34. The Italian pitcher height was 9 inches. It was nine inches tall. The, and you want the yellow blanket? Yeah. This is nine inches tall for the, the pitcher. And Joanne wants the baby blanket. I'm making David do all the work here. <laughs> what was number two? What was the baby blanket? What was number two? Number two. Oh, the amber pitcher. She wants the amber pitcher. Okay. Um, Terry wants the amber pitcher. Got you, Terry. And then this is um, one that has not sold yet. The little Italian creamer. What's what's the camera? Came from a camera. The little Italian creamer. It was twenty five dollars. I mean twenty five dollars. Number twenty five for twelve dollars. Did I, did I show everything? We got you, Terry. Oh, the the head cover. How does that go? 45, number four. Not the picture. Okay, what was uh, 34, um, Joanne? What were you talking about? That was 34. The baby blanket? Is that what you originally wanted? She didn't want the picture. She didn't want the picture? Not the picture, she said. So I think Joanne wanted the um, 43, the baby blanket, the baby blanket, right, Joanne? Joanne wants the baby blanket, not that picture. OK, because number 34 was the picture, I think. Right. So and typo. number two went to Terry. Mm -hmm. Number eight, uh, the ashtray, the vintage ashtray. It, uh, Tina is asking for. The ashtray, correct? I need to write this down for him to confirm. Joanne says yes. Thirty-nine, not not thirty-nine and number two. Thirty-nine is um. The small picture. Oh. That one. Oh, this one. This one. This one, Terry. Thirty-nine and two. This one as well. Uh. 
Now, was somebody wanting this one? Did I? No, this is mistyped. That's no, it's I not think. mistyped. No, when she typed it, she put 43 instead of 34. That's not the one she This is to the picture. The, 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 give me that picture. She didn't want the photo. The picture album. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, that went to that. Okay. Um, number two, Terry wanted this. The amber pitcher. Pitcher and pitcher, this. <laughs> Terry. Terry, Terry wanted. Terry Candeloro got that one. Yes. Yeah. And that was the okay. long ticket that you were putting away. He's learning. <laughs> He's going back and forth here. <laughs> He says, I'm going to get a new job. Uh, yeah, a you received my co the cookie jar yesterday. Perfect. Excellent. Great. Y'all don't know how every time y'all message me and say that when you start out to say something, I always misread it. And I, I, I freaked out. I freaked out on somebody because I thought, oh, what happened? She didn't like it or it broke or. Yeah. It always makes me nervous when packing glass stuff. Ashtray and I want to read. I want the headscarf, please, for T Tina. Tina wants the ashtray, which you already got, and the headscarf. I got many of these in different colors as well. So if you're interested in different colors, just let me know. <laughs> you're doing great, David. Tammy says you're doing great. And let me write um, headscarf, Tina. Oh, so I miss, uh, I'm very dyslexic, y'all. That's why I have to show you the paper, Joanne. <laughs> I'm very dyslexic. And I was holding it like this, and I probably read it backwards on the back side. <laughs> so I messed it up. So the baby blanket was number uh, 43. We got it now, but yeah, the baby blanket was 43, and I said 34. I'm horrible with numbers. I flip my numbers really bad. So yeah, y'all have to check me all the time. <laughs> uh you're rocking, David. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I am disappointed that uh, I didn't have a gown to show. Oh, Martha, I didn't even know you were here. I didn't see you in the conversation. I probably wasn't reading the conversation. But aren't you gone? She's on She's on like a vacay, a little mini vacay. Thanks, Martha. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> okay, did I, did I catch everybody? Did I get everything? Dave needs a drink. Yeah, well, I already started. <laughs> Now he needs one. <laughs> Terry, we have her for the picture. Yes, we have you down for the um, picture, Terry. The am that amber picture that's nine inches tall. Yeah, we got you down for that one. <laughs> um, well, thank you, Kat. No, I didn't bring nothing for David to model today. <laughs> He don't do good at modeling because they don't sell when he models it. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> I think that might be the problem. <laughs> oh, no, no problems. I probably messed it up. What you talking about? It was probably me. <laughs> but yeah, thanks. I'm, I'm going to start posting what don't sell and posting it on Instagram. So if y'all think about it later, y'all see it. Y'all can always message me later for it. But um, yeah, thanks for y'all for coming out and seeing me. I always appreciate it. I will have this package by tonight or in the morning and then y'all's invoices will go out tomorrow. We're going to be going out of town this weekend, so I have to get it all done. And if you want it before I leave, you have to pay by Friday so I can have it in the mail before I leave out of town. <laughs> Everyone in Central Texas and Northeast Texas, y'all be safe in the weather. We're what, thinking about y'all. Well, I was What's coming up? Tornado warnings and watches. Oh. Thank you, Joanne. You got your package too. Um, where'd she go? I just lost her. Got your package. I loved it. Thank you. Great, Terry. Great. Thank you, Joanne. No, uh, what does it say?
No, Bobby, I want them. LOL. She wants to push that Dylan nose it up. <laughs> Okay, like I said, one of those one one set of those fishes that I'm keeping three set piece. Those are going in my bathroom. I have to post a picture on my Instagram and my little start of a collage that I have a collection that I have. Thank you, thrifting and the hauler. Bye. Thanks for coming. And Christina, rope purple cell. No. Oh, you want me to a uh, uh, you vote for a purple cell? Hmm. I have to see if I have enough purple. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> We'll call the purple rain sale. Purple rain. <laughs> hey, if I get enough purple, that's what I'm going to call it. Purple rain. Thanks, Sylvia. Vinny fun. Oh, Vinny. Does Vinny find fish? If he finds fish, and me and you'll have to duke it out over there. We'll have Paul to. Wants, Paul wants blue. She wants us to do a blue thing. A blue thing. Hmm. I don't know how they just happened to start. I was just picking up some things and putting it in. I probably had like 10 items and I was really seeing a bunch of yellow. And I was like, huh, let me see what else I have in yellow. So I just went with it. It was. <laughs> so don't forget if you are not following me, I assume a lot of you are following me because y'all know when my sales are happening. But please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Follow me over on Instagram because I post a lot of that stuff that I'm going to have coming up over there as well. And any leftovers I post over there. Um, we do a lot of advertising over there. And after this, let's go check out um, Katie with uh, Daniel and go learn about Daniel and all the brooches that they have. I, can't, I love seeing collections. One day I'm going to show y'all all my collections. I need a new house and bigger house. I don't know why I collect anything. I, I don't need any more. Um, it was fun. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. Thanks, Terry. Thanks for coming. All of y'all. Thanks, Thomas. Thanks for coming. G good night, y'all. Let's go see uh, Katie on her channel now and listen up to listen to them. I need a drink. <laughs> David's going to pour himself a drink <laughs> and I will talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.